Oh, well, I think we're just about there. Pretty close. So I think you can see how that's going to be. So we're just going to have to trim that off so it's sort of coming across on the right angle. So that's off centre. And the furnace will be, the crucible will be getting a blast, plus it will be getting a swirl. So it's going to get a bit of everything. And uh, yeah, I might angle out a little bit more once I cut the angle on the end, I'll see. Anyway, we're getting there. Here, how that blade scrapes up the face of the cut the whole way. That's because that cut is perfectly accurate, perfectly at 90 degrees. If you don't hear that when you pull the blade up, it means that your uh, alignment's out. This thing cuts dead through. Now you've cut the, the angle, so you've screwed up your 90 degree setting, right? But no, you haven't on this one because I've got a little set block here that once I've finished doing the angle cut, so I'd slide it back, comes up against that stop, and you're back to dead on 90 degree every time. So, you know, no fucking around with uh, squares or anything. You just loosen it off, slide it back. You're back to 90. How good is that, eh? That's a mod I saw on a web page and uh, I thought that's a bloody good idea. It was funny too because the guy that had the mod, he got real shitty with me because I didn't put a link to his web page. I mean, what a bloody sook, you know? So in the end I said, well look, you know, I didn't, didn't even know where I got it from. I'd had the idea so long. But he put on a big song and dance about it, so I think I put a link in the video. I might have done a video on this one quite a while back, I think. So I think I put a link in there, but oh, you want to carry on. I mean, some people just... So that's pretty damn good. That's going to be right out to the edge of the, of the cavity. So that will be perfect. Put this upside down, you can get a better idea, I suppose. Yeah. So there's the, the tapers in, so you can see that would be right coming out towards the edge of the cavity. So that's, that's pretty well spot on. That's where I want it. All right, so the vent's in. It, uh, it's welded on the inside. It's pretty lousy in welding. But there's no burn through. That's the trouble, you know. This, you've got to be careful on this thing. It's 3mm and, and it's high tensile. So uh, I've avoided burn through and it's looking pretty good. Right, well, we've got the shaft for the pivot pin for the lid. The lid is going to swing, slide around. And I just... Uh, Used a bit of old steering shaft housing, a couple of angle, bits of angle iron and welded on the inside so you can't see my lousy welding. It is pretty lousy, I've got to, I got to say. I'm not the welder I used to be. And uh, I made it bolt up so that if there's any uh, angle problems, I can either shim it out or, you know, with some washers or I can move the thing around. There's a little bit of slop in there, not, it's pretty good really. So yeah, it gives you that advantage if you're welded on or you, you're stuffed, you know, if the, if the lid's got to swing one, one way and it starts binding, well, that's no good. But doing it this way, you, yeah, you can adjust it up. And uh, yeah, so I'll have to put a flat plate across, 
cut out a bit of the lead and then I'll probably weld it to those uh, to a piece of steel that welds one of those bits of rebar that are in the lead I'll show you so you can see how it's going to come in flat plate goes through there I'll cut out a bit on the lid and then inside the flat plate will come in through a notch in this and I'll have some more flat plate going between these two stringers and then the whole thing can just uh, pivot, pivot around you know, to wherever I want to put it that's the plan you can see the, the four bolts coming through once again that'll all be hidden in the um, the perlite or the bentonite clay whatever I use and uh, yeah, you can see the, the seam where they've joined the, the cylinder in two parts. And you can see here how the, the cavity is going to line up with the end of the pipe. So, you know, once I fill it with that uh, insulation, this will come out. And uh, you can see how the flame pattern is going to come in sort of on the edge of the, the centre bit. And the, uh, the bucket will go in it's 50 mil distance all the way around from the top of the taper and it's it tapers in slightly as it goes down so yeah it's come together quite well all the dodgy stuff will be hidden <laughs> uh, at the end of the day it'll look okay I was going to take all the paint off but I think I'll leave it on use it and see what what burns off and if, it, if it's okay I'll Start cleaning all this off. I'll uh, I'll just put on heat-proof paint where I need to. Yeah, give give it a test run first. I might, might need to do some more welding anyway, so we'll see. Okay, well that's it for now. We're getting there. Things are getting pretty warm in the shed. We're in for a couple of hot days, so time to uh, have a break. I'll see you next time. Cheers.